okay, guys, second attempt, because it's Saturday and Loki's helping. And, uh, yeah, I know I have, like, a little mess in my hair. I put a mask on today because the idea was to, like, chill out and not do any videos and not go to work today. Because it's Saturday. And, of course, I got two messages I figured I'd share with all of you because sometimes when stuff's happening for me, it seems to be timely for you guys. Now, I have been seeing a lot of rabbits. And I've been seeing them at unusual times, like in the middle of the afternoon. Uh, the first two I saw, I saw in the public park. And for some reason, this public park was completely empty. And I saw two rabbits, and the first one was actually hopping in front of me very slowly on the path as I was walking and then you know hopped into the side and then the second one she was at the far end of the park she made sure I noticed her before she hopped off now and the strange thing was these may have been somebody's pets or something because they they had like golden fur like the road rabbits around here they have that if you want to call it rabbit color fur, but you know what I mean, like dark gray with ticks of all sorts of colors in it, so they can hide real easily, and these golden furred rabbits aren't going to be able to hide pretty much anywhere. And I've seen, like, all sorts of pet rabbits dumped, and you see them in the woods, and they're like calico colors and everything else, and they're colors that don't naturally occur in rabbits, and poor things don't last long. And then yesterday... My aunt and I were uh, driving, and a rabbit literally stopped us dead. It was, like, right in front of us, stopped us in our tracks. And it was another golden rabbit. And I'm like, well, one, this is unusual because these rabbits are, have that golden color fur of, like, more like a pet rabbit. I've never seen wild rabbits around here that have that golden fur. And, um... So I'm like, okay, rabbits bring in a message. Now, one of the messages rabbit can bring you, because I did a lot of research. I went back in, and I made sure I knew everything about rabbits and the totems. One of the things rabbit can bring you is that, um, are you blocking your fertility somehow and not, you know, um, having babies? But, like, are you blocking fertility and abundance in your life somehow? Are you, like saying, no, I can't have this, no, this can't be happening to me, er, and, like, blocking yourself, and you'll especially, like, you'll fill it up here in this chakra, and are you saying, no, I can't have this for some reason, well, then it can't manifest for you, but if you are, th and this is a trick a lot of people use, if you're thankful for what you do have already, and you give thanks, and then you just let that open, and you say, okay, I'm going to stop blocking, I'm going to just let it open and believe, things can begin to change for you. So um, if you're working on a project or you're working to change your life or something and it's not working, maybe, um, you know, we all get to sit down and examine and say, okay, what am I blocking? What am I seeing negative stuff about all the time? What am I not grateful for already because I'm dissatisfied with how it is and I want to be a lot better? Now, that doesn't mean you can't still take steps to improve whatever it is, but it does mean that be, being grateful for what we are and being open to growth can help a lot. So, I think that was a message a little rabbit was bringing. And I do want to talk on, and I can say this having been vegan at one time, there was no, I'm old enough to know that there was never any discussion in the old days when you saw rabbit totem of becoming a vegetarian, becoming vegan. That's kind of a new agey, feel good, vegan is more spiritual than you are, psychobabble. And I, I know I'm blunt. The gods do not grace me with being gentle, but that's pretty much what it is. Um, just because you have rabbit as a totem, a rabbit is appearing to you. The universe is not trying to guilt you into veganism. The universe don't care what you eat because people go, rabbits are vegetarians. No, they aren't, baby. They eat their own young all the time. Um, <laughs> I hate to tell you that, but they will eat their children if there's something wrong with them. And the mother rabbit eats the afterbirth and they end up eating insects as they're eating grass and all these other good things. And that doesn't make rabbit any less spiritual because rabbit gets some meat in their diet every so often. It's like deers are normally vegetarians, yeah, but there's an island, and you can look this up, where they eat eggs, because they have to, 
They specifically usually wait until the eggs are like a chick stage and they break them open. They eat them because they need the nutrients. So there's nothing wrong with knowing your body type and knowing what works good for you. For some people, vegetarian does work. For some people, vegan works. For most of us, omnivore works. I'm an omnivore. I did not do well as a vegetarian. I did not do well as a um, vegan. I really did not do well as a vegan. And yes, I'd done my research and did the whole fancy diet. And Loki's response to me seeing all this vegetarian stuff as I was doing my research today since it was Saturday is it is Saturday and look what arrived. Bacon jerky! So yeah, bacon is like one of his favorites. And bacon jerky especially is going to be yum, 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 yum. And it's kind of a message that you have to do what is right for you be open to abundance and be open to using whatever um, tools you find whether you find them in the new age or you find them in paganism or whatever but also to apply some common sense if you know your body and you know you and you know you're not going to be happy being a vegetarian or vegan don't go off and do it because someone told you to or because someone guilted you into it i hate those people on facebook and pinterest is starting to do this to me now that post that guilt stuff post that guilt stuff it's probably karma coming back to me because i probably did it and don't even remember doing it but they post that guilt stuff and you should never let anyone guilt you into what's not right for you if you were meant to be a vegetarian or vegan you just would not naturally like me and you would not be going around making it a thing of how more spiritual you are now because there's it's like saying a rabbit is more spiritual than a tiger they were the same and so I, ho I hope that helps and I just wanted to share that as an example of sometimes Loki can use stuff to teach us like I don't think rabbits my totem I think rab Loki was just saying well look into this and see what lessons rabbit teaches and I think I definitely know the jerky was his way of saying like okay but don't go overboard with it have some discernment you know you're a omnivore you know that's how you're happiest so I hope that helped guys so if you're like getting messages and the only place you're finding stuff is in the new age and you're going Bleh! because it's telling you you have to become a vegetarian or you have to not do this or you can't wear this anymore um have some common sense and apply some reasoning to it because a universe actually wants you happy Loki wants you happy he doesn't want you suffering and deciding you have to completely change your lifestyle your ethics or something just because some other witch said so or some new age person said so or whoever okay so you know as always take what you can use leave the rest behind but i hope you enjoy that if you like what you see like comment subscribe and i will see you guys later bye bye